Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the Photo Video Show, where we explore all things photography. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. So, on today's vlog, I gotta just go ahead and get this one out of the way. I probably get this question somewhere in the ballpark of at least five to ten times per day. It's pretty brutal. And the question I usually get is, what is the best blank I should buy? And it usually revolves around what's the best camera I should buy, what's the best lens I should buy, what's the best microphone I should buy. I'm honestly saddened by the question whenever I get it. I mean, let's think about this. I don't know why it only seems to apply to our profession. Maybe there's more, I don't know. I, I'm not in any other profession, so I'm not privy. But, you know, no one ever goes to a contractor, uh, a builder, and says, look, I want to build a house, but I only want to use a hammer, and that's it. Um, you never go to an auto mechanic and you say, I want you to fix my car, but I only want you to use a screwdriver. So for people in our profession to genuinely think that there's any one solution to all the different hurdles, obstacles, problems that are out there is just asinine. It's unproductive because people try to figure that question out, like there's some sort of silver bullet that's gonna deal with all their problems and all they have to do is do enough research and hunt around long enough, hard enough, and wide enough that eventually they're gonna find that one solution to all their problems. I just wanna go ahead and tell you right here and now, it doesn't exist. You're looking for a unicorn because it doesn't exist. There's no such thing. Lenses and cameras and microphones and everything else that we talk about uh, here on the Photo Video Show, they're solutions to problems. They are tools. And you should refer to everything that you own, whether it be cameras, lenses, batteries, tripods, whatever, as tools. They help you get a job done. They help you tell a story. They help you create a tone or a mood. They help you sell more prints, whatever the case may be. So you guys really are gonna have to just stop with those types of questions because there is no answer. Now, if someone does happen to give you an answer, it is solely based on their opinion. 99% of all people that do photography or videography or whatever, you know, you don't do wedding videography or you don't do wedding photography. So, you know, you don't need very specific pieces of glass. Uh, not everyone does YouTube videos or uh, instructional videos in any way, shape or form. So you're not gonna need specific cameras or whatever. You can get pretty close to perfection in your eyes, for your needs, for your purposes. But that is gonna be 100% relative based on what you do and what you require out of your gear. But there is no silver bullet. There's a lot of different problems out there. Not all of them require a hammer. 